10 craziest sea creatures recently discovered. What has been recently discovered? I think there's like a squid, right? Small, I think there's a snailfish species. I can look here, wait. Let's look at what's recently discovered as of April. A Saprinodontiform, a Lutjanus. You know, nothing particularly interesting, but I have a feeling that, um, you know, it's not going to be scientifically accurate anyways. Hi, it's Katrina. <clears throat> From Hi, Katrina. Identified glowing shark to mm -hmm. a living sea dragon found in Mexico. That's an oarfish. The craziest That's sea a nudibranch. branch. Ever found. I don't know what that is. Just to be clear, an oarfish is not a recently discovered creature, and if they say it is, I'm going to be upset. Oarfish have literally been part of Japanese folk culture for thousands of years, and are told to predict earthquakes. Glowing shark. Mm -hmm. A new species of insane sea creature was just found deep beneath the surface of the ocean off the coast of New Zealand. Just found. The new species is called the kite fin shark. And believe it or not, it literally glows in the dark. Wow. It's one of th the shark can grow to an amazing length of about six feet. This <laughs> obviously isn't as big as a tiger shark or a great white, but it's still bigger than me. And neither of those sharks can glow bigger than me too. Blue. Researchers just aren't exactly sure how or even why, but they speculate the blue glowing light from the shark's belly makes it invisible to prey swimming beneath in the darkness of the deep sea. It also uses its... I'm trying to wrap my head around that and I don't get it. How does it glow? I don't fucking know. But I do know that there are multiple species of glowing shark that we've known about for a decent amount of time. So another species of glowing shark isn't... I wouldn't call it the craziest sea creature, but you know... It's not that bad. Number nine, Icelandic river monster. What? A video of a strange river monster recently <laughs> surfaced Come showing on. a long snake-like creature slithering through a glacial river in the country of Iceland. Okay. According to locals, the video is proof of a horrifying legendary sea monster called Lagarflot or Lagarflotsormur, said to be a serpentine creature that lives in lakes and rivers, sometimes in the water. Some people have suggested the creature in the video is nothing but a hoax. While well, where's the video? It could be just some kind of ordinary river animal. In the footage, the thing seems to be slithering upstream. That is so it fake. It also appears to be over 10. That is the fakest fucking video I've ever seen. Look at this. <laughs> the thing seems to be <laughs> slithering. That's not what a shadow under the ice would look like. <laughs> The first sighting of the mysterious Icelandic beast was back in 1345. Wow. It was documented in the 15th century, and it was even drawn on world maps from the 16th century. There were additional Okay, sightings. so it's from the 1300s. So crazy, I'll give you crazy. Sea creature, no. Recently discovered, no. Discovered, no. Local legend says the beast is actually a type of worm or a slug that has been growing bigger and bigger as the centuries go by. Some mm -hmm. reports place it as being longer than a bus, with many humps on its back. Some okay. say it only lives in freshwater lakes, and others claim to have spotted it in the coastal waters of Iceland. You okay. never know where the giant worm will show up. So basically everyone's just making shit up and no one is uh, no one is at any consensus on what it actually is, what it looks like, where it is, or what it does. Great, yeah. Great, great legend we got there. Number eight. Mysterious regenerating slug. A mysterious regenerating slug. That's not mysterious at all. Found and has scientists pretty excited. New to branches According always to do that. American, you could remove your head and then grow a brand new body while throwing the old one in the trash. Yep. Even more amazing is that the regeneration only takes about two weeks to complete. You're yep. probably thinking, sure, but there are lots of animals that practice regeneration in the world. That's what, what I was thinking. What makes the slug so special? These slugs take it to the next level by regrowing their whole body. It's a feat unsurpassed by any other living animal. <coughs> According so this isn't a new creature, and I'm pretty sure, though I don't exactly have a timeline because I'm fairly young, that this is not a new discovery either. And here's where things get really crazy. Oh yeah. The Japanese scientists notice that the slugs sometimes decapitate themselves on purpose. Wow. The severed head can then survive for several weeks by using a special type of photosynthesis to give itself nourishment. Scientists are still trying to figure out how exactly the regeneration happens and why the slugs chop off their own heads instead of sacrificing a smaller part. I mean, this is just normal new to branches. I mean, I feel like this isn't particularly new or interesting things. It's just new to branches. Number seven, 
heat wave jellyfish. During the insane heat what? wave of 2021, some pretty creepy sea creatures have been getting washed up on beaches in the United Kingdom. Locals were shocked to discover dead jellyfish up to six feet in length stranded on their sandy shores. But locals weren't nearly as disturbed as the scientists who couldn't believe how barrel jellyfish, animals that inhabit warm coastal waters from very far away, ended up in the UK in the middle of June. The jellyfish are so Cause there was a heat wave? that people were mistaking them for octopuses or even aliens. These are some of the Because the water was hot enough to sustain them? Wow, that's crazy. Jellyfish who barely control their movement at all have absolutely no brain function whatsoever to decide what they do. Felt warm water and continued going into warm water. Wow. Magic. This jellyfish to ever wash up in Britain. They typically eat plankton, which is probably why they ended up washing ashore. Plankton in shallow waters are easy pickings, and the jellyfish sometimes don't realize how big they are, and they end up beached. But why were <laughs> they don't realize how big they are? They don't realize anything. They are incapable of making realizations or thoughts. Any washing up during the heat wave? Could they have been getting yeah, this isn't even, right out of the ocean? Not only is this not crazy, it's not even a, a discovered species. This is just, again, I've said it many times, I think the video content is so disconnected from the title and like the description, what they are advertising is actually in the video and what's actually in the video is just so disparaged. Hundreds of very deadly sea creatures recently washed up on Musenberg Beach in Cape Town, South Africa. These fish are deadlier than cyanide and can kill. They were okay. first discovered by Dr. Tess Gridley from the UK while walking with her family along the beach. She saw hundreds of them scattered across the sand, dead but still dangerous. Are they just puffer fish? a neurotoxin that can paralyze and cause respiratory failure if ingested. Then don't eat the dead fish on the beach. They're literally just puffer fish. Just don't eat them. How are they the deadliest fish if you just have to not put them in your mouth, chew, and then swallow in order to not die? I'd like to think that people are capable of that. This was an especially dangerous situation for dogs and other pets who might have accidentally tried to munch on one of the animals. Well, that's true. The creatures were identified by South Africa's Department of Environment as evil eye pufferfish. Yep. These are the famous deadly pufferfish that you can eat in Japan, but only if prepared by a <laughs> chef who knows what they're Why are her hips eat. moving like that? <laughs> you eat a pufferfish that's been improperly prepared, you could accidentally eat the neuro. So craziest sea creatures recently discovered pufferfish. Okay. Toxin and die within minutes. <clears throat> Faceless beast. A mysterious <laughs> estimated to be over 23 feet long was found rotting on a beach in the country of Wales. Looked like a whale. The monster had no recognizable face. They received a call from a worried local who first discovered what they did. Yep. Number four. Okay. Wandering meatloaf. There is what? something very bizarre living in the ocean that scientists call a wandering meatloaf. <laughs> this is because it looks like a large meatloaf slowly is it just a sea wandering cucumber? across the ocean floor. Scientists from Northwestern University found wandering the meatloaf. Santa Barbarate with the teeth of the wandering meatloaf. The Why are you poking him like that? Dirk Joster told USA Today. <laughs> what a hilarious name. Spending your whole life dedicating to science and research just to name something the wandering meatloaf. <laughs> I dream to do that. I want to discover a new fish and name it something fucking stupid like that. The teeth of the mollusk, known scientifically as a chiton, are about three times Titan. harder than the teeth in our mouths. This is pretty shocking, considering human teeth are some of the hardest things Please stop in showing nature. me this person's mouth. Yet the teeth of the wandering meatloaf are even stronger. This is the only biological animal in which scientists have ever found this rare mineral. Previously, it's only been found in minuscule amounts in geological specimens. I love this stock rocks. footage, because that dude was paid to hold up a tiny magnifying glass on a rock and just pretend to look at it for like 30 seconds. Titans number three, dog-killing sea monster. What? A weird sea creature described as an alien monster was recently found stuck in the sand on an Australian beach. Just another new to branch? The creature is a killer of dogs. So the beachgoer was curious to know if he had found a new sea animal or a new species of extraterrestrial. Well, just show us the photo. Weird yellow goo monster. After uploading the picture, it became clear that he was dealing with a real animal. People were quick to point out that the creature was a nefarious killer of dogs. It's called a sea hare. 
and it kind of looks like a pile of vomit, but it's actually a gastropod mollusk. It has a special type of purple ink, which it can squirt into a dog's mouth to kill it. Whenever the sea hare becomes scared, it squirts the liquid as a defense mechanism. And even if it's dead, if you are walking your dog and it goes to inspect or grab it, it could cause serious damage. According to Colin Brown, What I'm learning is just don't walk your dog on the beach. Especially if your dog's stupid and is just going to eat something when it sees it. Thankfully, the dangerous sea hare quickly washed back into the ocean and was gone before any dogs could be harmed. So again, not a crazy sea creature, not a recent discovery, or a discovery at all. I think there's only been one discovery, and it was the glow shark. Number two. At first, these monstrosities probably aren't going to scare you. They are known as sea sponges. And they <laughs> this aren't is not a recent discovery at all. The creatures were found living at a depth of around 9,000 feet, meaning they aren't that easy to study. But if they evolved <laughs> from being peaceful plant eaters to hungry savages, there is no telling what they might turn Dude, into Dude, the fucking next crack in video again. 500 million years. Yep, in 500 million years, trees are going to develop consciousness, and when you walk by a tree, it's just going to... Number one, living dragon. A couple of fishermen discovered... Just an oarfish. All right, not recently discovered. Kind of crazy, I guess. Thousands of years, the oarfish has existed in Japanese folklore. Thousands of years. It was majestic, to say the least. Aww. The dragon serpent was around I love nine feet long and just a baby and grow to be between 50 and 60 feet long. They almost never wash up on the shore. Not much is known about the, the oarfish, but if you want to know more, I mean... Oh, look at that. The number one result on oarfish documentary. Oh, who made this? That's weird. That seems like a cool video. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's me. Oh, I made that. Interesting. Okay. Whoa. 